Hi, this is Robert James Mac Williams. So I'm on my home computer now. Just wanted to show you some of the programs that I run and use at home. Um, my computer that I use at home, I actually built myself back in uh, the summer of 2004. Um, it's basically using an AMD processor running at 1.83 gigahertz, uh, utilizing 512 megabytes of RAM. Of course, I'm using Microsoft XP Professional, and I have the latest Service Pack, which is Service Pack 2. Cool thing that I like about my computer, my home computer, is that um, I'm actually use, utilizing two monitors. Right now, I'm down to just um, one. I have the uh, secondary monitor disabled for the purpose of uh, viewing or creating this video. Um, also, since I kind of operate in two, I have two hard drives. I have, uh, of course, a local DSC. I use for all of my program files um, and I also have what I call the second drive I usually call it the spirit of creativity and usually of course this is just various um, files that I have uh, created uh, I keep all my video files here uh, pictures uh, just some of everything um, on this one, that's more of my, my backup drive. Usually when you have a drive to crash, the first one is going to be, if it's a hard drive, it's going to be your C drive. So I back up all my stuff on D, or the spirit of creativity, for the purpose of keeping it secure in the event that my hard drive or C drive should crash. Of course I have an A drive, um, I have a DVD writable drive, um, and I also have an additional regular CDR W drive. Um, just to take you through some of the programs that I use, um, of course you can see some of my most recent or commonly used programs that we have Office, uh, Word of Office, Notepad, uh, I have the full version of Adobe Acrobat 5.0, it's a little old since um, 7.0 is out now, Vegas Video, that's probably one of my most used at the moment. Um, video editing software, uh, Adobe Photoshop, uh, I use that to do a lot of photo editing and touch up and then of course Camtasia video recorder is actually what I'm using to um, record this program right now this is similar to my work computer a lot of the programs I have here is also on my work PC um, of course the 7-zip used to unzip various type of zip formats uh, like, as I mentioned I have a dual monitor uh, system set up here on my home computer so I'm using the ATI uh, 9200 card which allows me to hook up two monitors um, Boris Graffiti I just recently downloaded the demo and that works with um, Vegas 6 allows you to do various keyframes and stuff in video editing um, since my background is in computer information systems, of course I have some programming software. Um, not as much as I did once upon a time since I'm not so heavy into programming, but every now and then I do get into programming. This is JBuilder by Borland, um, used to create Java programming, Java applets. Um, of course we already mentioned Camtasia used to record computers, screenshots, etc. Um, I have After Effects on this computer, that's one of my programs that I'm starting to use a lot now. I really like the effects that you can utilize in After Effects. Um, and this is a plugin from iCandy, which is a popular plugin company. Um, Karma Lab, if you notice on my screen here, I have a Korg Triton as my desktop, and actually that's the keyboard that I'm using to play the background music that you hear right now. Um, and this is just some sequencing software. It's actually a demo, but uh, very good considering that it's a demo, and I'll probably will upgrade later on. Um, I have a couple of spyware programs, Adaware, and also Spybot, used just to remove uh, any spyware that I may encounter on the internet. Macromedia, I love Macromedia. Some powerful software, and I have the Macromedia MX Suite. Um, probably use fireworks more than anything flash would probably be second and third would be dreamweaver um, I do use freehand from time to time though 
Um, Magix is an uh, audio recording software which was actually used to produce the audio section on my resume CD-ROM. Um, there's a lot of cool functions there, a lot of tools that you can use as far as audio editing as goes. Addition to uh, Adware and Spybot, I also downloaded the latest uh, Microsoft anti-spyware program. Of course, as mentioned, I have Office. Um, Multimedia Builder is the software that I use to create my uh, resume CD-ROM, which enabled me to have the interfaces and menus. Um, Nero is a salt burning software that I use for burning CDs as well as DVDs. Using Norton, which to my in my own personal experience, I found that to be the best uh, antivirus software out. I um, also have uh, Hollywood Effects, which goes with um, Pinnacle Studio 8, which was the first video editing software I used. Printmaster, I use to print a lot of things, including my business cards. Uh, QuickTime, I have, as we mentioned, Sonus Vegas Video 6. SPS is something that I'm new to. I'm using that in grad school for a lot of my statistical research. Um, of course, um, SPSS stands for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences. It's similar to Excel. I think it's probably a little more, probably a little more easier to use in Excel because a lot of the calculations are already laid out for you. So it's just the click of a button as opposed to actually telling. Or programming the software to do what you actually need to be done. Um, as mentioned, I have Studio 8 that came actually with my video card. Um, again, Adobe After Effects, that's the video software that I acquired recently and I really like it. Um, it has some really neat effects on there. Um, just to go there and show you one, uh, an intro I used on my website. Um, basically the lightning effect um, it's pretty easy you pretty much just go to your effects and then under your render effects you have lightning and there's basically hundreds of effects that you that it comes with and, and even more that you can uh, download as plugins um, and basically you can put the effect anywhere that you want it to move the lightning wherever and as you see I have it in my hands and then basically just click your play button and it has to pre-render it and you can see the lightning is moving um, and this is just kind of taking a peep look at a quick look at uh, Vegas video and Vegas is probably my favorite video editing software to be honest with you but I do like the capabilities that uh, Adobe offer especially in After Effects There's some really cool things that you can do in After Effects so and that's just a quick look at my desktop computer at home hope you enjoyed it